How to set QuickBooks restrictions. Are QuickBooks restrictions necessary? Let's get into it. If you're an old schooler like me, you still use QuickBooks desktop. Online, it's called custom roles. But we're gonna talk about setting QuickBooks restrictions using QuickBooks desktop. Well, Nina, my QuickBooks has been set up for years and everything's going fine. Do I really need to establish QuickBooks restrictions? And I'm going to say, yes, you should consider setting up restrictions even now. And the main reason that comes to mind for me is confidentiality. You have a temporary employee that comes in when you're in between bookkeeping personnel. Do you want that person to have full access to your QuickBooks file? Let's say you hire a team of bookkeepers who are permanently at your office. Do all of those bookkeepers need access to accounts receivable if they're doing accounts payable. Who needs to see your company's financials? Who needs to see your company's checking account balance? Who has the ability to download your company's file? For these reasons, you may want to consider securing your financial information by setting up restrictions in your QuickBooks. Again, if you're using online, it's called custom roles. In order to show you how to do this, we're gonna to have to go to my office because as much as this is a beautiful set, that's all it is. Let's get to my office and I can show you step-by-step step how to set up QuickBooks restrictions. We are here in my office now and let's get to the computer and I can show you these steps. Your QuickBooks file is already open. The first thing you're gonna do is go to company and then you're going to select set up users and passwords and then slide over click set up users because you are the admin you're already logged in we're going to assume that you are the admin and you are the only person who is using that unique password for the admin if not i would stop right here reset the username and password and ensure that you are the only person, you the business owner, you're the only person that has that unique username and password for the admin because admin, as you know, has complete access to everything uh, in the QuickBooks file. As admin, you're going to click add user. And once you add, once you get to this page, you will set up the employee's username and password. We're gonna go with John Doe and we're going to set up a password. And then next, we've got John Doe in and we're gonna set up the restrictions. Do we want him to have all the areas of QuickBooks? If we do, we're okay with that box being checked. If we only want selected areas of QuickBooks, then we're gonna select that. And if you look, sales and accounts receivable, that's page one of nine. So you have nine areas that you have to decide what John Doe is going to have access to. Either no access to this area or full access. Or you can select what areas you want John Doe to have access to in the sales and accounts receivable area. Number two, this is two of nine, purchases and accounts payable. If John Doe, if you go back, if John Doe has access to accounts receivable and if he doesn't have anything to do with accounts payable, then you may not want to give John Doe access to accounts payable. So you click no. Checking in credit cards. Does John Doe need access to this area? You have no access, full access, and selective access. And you just decide. We don't want John Doe to have access to checking and credit cards. Four of nine, inventory. No, John Doe doesn't need access to that. Payroll and employees. No, John Doe doesn't need access to that. Sensitive account activities. No, because John Doe only does accounts receivable. He doesn't do anything else. So we're going to do a no on this one as well. Since it's a financial report, heck no, John Doe doesn't need access to that, so we're going to click no access on that. 
Changing or deleting transactions, super important. Do you want John Doe to have the ability to change or delete transactions that they have access to? You still have a record uh, of him doing this, so it's okay to click yes here. Should he have ability to change or delete transactions that were recorded before the closing date? Absolutely not. Only the admin or the accountant should be able to do that. And then you can have a summary here, a summary of what John Doe has access to in your QuickBooks file. And then you can hit finish. And there you have it. You set up your employee, John Doe, to have restricted access in your QuickBooks file. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about business operations, business management, human resources, and other topics related to running a business, click on one of those play links. Click on one of these play Click on the playlist. One eternity later. Click on one of these playlists. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.